everybody, sister girl at Christine, and I know I'm late. Okay, this video came out uh, last month. <laughs> I'm legit officially a month late from the date that I'm filming this because I'm recording this on the sixth, and this video came out on the sixth. All right, this is by this is a short film with Taika Waititi called Save Ralph for the Humane Society of the United States. Link for this video is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Ready? Mm-hmm. We rolling. Oh. Okay, Ralph, can you mark it, please? It's a you want me to click it now? Cute yeah. little bunny. Right. Go on. Are like you okay? Brilliant. Are you okay, bunny? Oh, oh look at his beanies. ear and his eye. So, um, my name's Ralph. Um, Hi. I'm a rabbit. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, I'm blind in my right eye and uh, oh. this ear. Can't hear nothing but ringing now. Oh. Eee. Oh. Oh. What happened, yeah, Bunny? annoying, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's some brush see. That was like... Fur shaved and got chemical burns up and down my back. It kind of stings, eh? What? But it's not a big deal. I mean, it only really hurts when I, like breathe or oh. move around or whatever. Oh, well, it's just ah, yeah. the stuff oh. that you do yeah, all that hurts. the time. Oh. oh. But uh, at the end of the day, I mean, Jesus, okay. did we do it for the humans, just... right? They're far oh. superior to us animals. They've even been to space. Oh, testing. A rabbit in a rocket ship. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. This poor, this poor guy, a uh, poor rabbit, using the toothbrush to scratch all these itches. He's making me itch. And this is, okay, testing. When they test um, products and things like that on animals. That's what they're testing here. Point is, I'm not a space bunny. No. I'm a tester. Aww. My daddy was a tester. My mum, my brothers, my sisters, my kids, all testers. Oh, and they okay. all died doing their job. Oh, Oh. Like I will. Oh. That's okay. Testing is what we were born to do. It makes oh. us rabbits happy. Oh dear. Are you sh Are you sure? Oh. Oh, he's crying. No, don't, don't oh. cry. Time to get to work. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Now I oh. know it looks bad, but the way I see it, I'm doing my job. If just one human can have the illusion of a safer lipstick or deodorant or... Uh, hey, Ralphie! Oh. Ralphie! Is that... What's with the camera crew, bro? Oh, oh dear. Um, they're just following me around, making a documentary or something. Mm. <gasps> can you ask them to get us out of here? Yeah, yeah, what, what will we see? Come on, Oh, Ralphie, to escape. To get get out of here. I don't want to die, man! Oh. Okay, Ralphie! Oh, okay, I hear you. You can, uh, you can edit that out, right? Oh, oh no. Here we go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh, dear, dear, dear. dear. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So, uh, so in closing. Oh, gosh. Do you see all of these freaking names on the locker? And you see all of the names that are scratched out. These are more than likely all of the ones that died and these ones that are that don't have well these are marked out now these ones that don't have a mark are probably people who are still currently not people but bunnies that are still currently living um whereas the other ones are scratched out oh my, and you could even see it on the front of the locker it's like i guess these are all the ones that had this locker and all of them are dead i'd um i'd just like to say that uh, sorry well uh, We're over here. Can you oh, no. Turn around? Oh, sorry. Oh, look sorry. at him. He can't um, see at all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Carry on, mate. Oh. Okay, so, yeah. I'd just like to say to everyone out there still buying animal tested cosmetics like oh. eyeliner, shampoo, sunscreen, pretty much everything in your bathroom. Well, oh. without you and countries that allow animal testing, I'd be out of a job. I'd be on the streets. Oh, well, dear. I'm not the streets. Right, Smaller you'd be free. Field, I guess. Yeah. You know, like a normal rabbit. Mm hmm. But hey. Ah, ah. Oh. <sighs> oh. Poor. So good. No. No. Oh. 
No animal should suffer and die in the name of beauty. Right. Okay, so help Humane Society International ban cosmetic testing on animals globally. Okay. I didn't know that was still a thing. They still do... They still do that? This is lab room, water out of... They couldn't even fix the water fountain for these rabbits, and they just taken them out of their lives? Um, hold on, because I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some Googling. Um, animal testing makeup. Oh, no. When you Google it, you actually see... And you see um, a, an animal getting that stuff on their eyes. Oh my goodness. What cosmetic tests are performed on animals, although they are not required by law, several invasive tests are performed on rabbits, mice, guinea pigs, and rats. Skin and eye irritation tests where chemicals are rubbed onto the shaved skin or dripped into the eyes of restrained rabbits without any pain relief. I want to know which particular products. Are you serious? I got to find out if this is real, right? But this thing that says 10 cosmetic brands that still test on animals and um, what to use instead. This is as of in 2020. I've got to look at this. I've got to look at this really quick. I got to look at this because I do buy um, makeup and stuff like that and I I don't want anything that they put on a a rabbit to test it. Honestly, I thought that this was was done. I'm not going to lie. I didn't realize that this was a thing that they um, still do. Hold on. Oh, I'm trying to, because for some reason my um, uh, internet's crapping out. Okay. I'm trying to see which brands. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to have to look on my own. I was going to try to Google and share it on the screen, but I need to look on my own. A, my um, phone for some reason is acting very stupid. And hindering me from even looking at what, which, you know, brands particularly. The other thing is I do want to do a really detailed amount of research on my own in regards to the brands. I know that some companies may have issues against other companies. And then I am aware of my platform. I don't want to, you know, unknowingly spread false information if there is. That could be damaging to a brand if if they are not indeed actually still doing this. So I want to confirm that before I say, hey guys, there's these brands that they test on animals and I don't have any any actual proof. I didn't do any research on my own, but don't use these brands anymore. That could be extremely, extremely um, damaging. So I do want to do some research and I implore you to also do research don't just look at a facebook post or somebody's post like read a but i read at least five to six articles okay compare the information and then come to uh, a you know personal or detailed um uh, uh uh what's the word i want to say understanding understanding is that the word i want to say uh, d- make your decision based on doing research and i implore you to read at least five to six articles before you just jump on a ship okay um because we want to make sure that a we are if there are particular brands that are indeed doing it we want to make sure that we are not supporting those brands anymore and this is me personally i want to make sure because you know do what you want to do but i personally do not want to support these brands anymore if they are doing this to animals okay um so i want to make sure i am first looking up the particular brands that are doing this want to confirm that information and then I will then make my decision on if I purchase these brands, not purchasing them anymore. Okay. Um, you know, it's a start. It's a start. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Um, let me know if you're going to do the research and, um, if, and this is the thing, I don't want people being like, Oh, this brand doesn't do it anymore. Cite your sources. This is something that we will definitely cite our sources. It will take us back to school. If you're like, Hey, per, this website and I don't think you can put links down below because it'll it'll move your comment where other people can't see it um, but you can say per and you can say the name of the website if it was like you know animals are safe.com don't put the dot com so per animals are safe in the quotes 
so other people can search and look at the same articles that you're talking about. But again, don't put links down there because if you put .com or .net or .anything, it's going to erase your comment or other people can't see it. And then the other thing is I want you to cite your source before you just start bashing brands, okay? And it shows a bit of credibility on your on your end as well because I want to make sure that we know who's doing this ish, okay? And that we're pulling the trigger on the right people. Bad phrasing, but you know what I mean. All right. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support everyone involved in making it. If you like this video, hug the like out of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles. <laughs>